Hi guys, so today we're going to be creating this really romantic dolly look for Valentine's Day, so let's get started. So with my bare face ready, I'm taking my Prime Primer by Benelico, and I'm going to be applying this with my fingers to the center portion of my face, areas that get oily, areas with large pores, and then I'm just going to blend it outwards. This primer is really good for concealing pores and smoothing out the skin's texture. Then going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in R115 and Y225, I'm applying the lighter one to the center of the face and this color has more of a red undertone to it because my skin color as I've been getting older isn't exactly one consistent shade. So I'm applying that to the center and then taking the more yellowy color, I'm applying that to the outer portions of my face. This combination kind of gives me like the perfect balance of skin tone for the winter. I'm not too sure why my skin is doing this, but anyway, I'm taking a damp beauty blender now and I'm just blending that outwards, starting with the outer portion of my face and working my way inwards so that I have most of the coverage on the center portion. Okay, next I'm taking my favorite Luna Long Tip Concealer in the lightest shade and I'm applying that to the areas that I have dark circles and around the nose where I get red easily. Then I'm blending that outwards with the same beauty blender that I used before. Next, I'm going to set certain areas of my face with my Benelico Prime Primer Finish Powder and I'm focusing this on areas that I would get oily and areas that I want to last all day or night. So cheeks, the nose, areas of the chin, etc. Then taking my Proof 10 Eye Stick Primer by Etude House, I'm applying that all over my eyelids to give an equal smooth base. Then going in with Makeup Geek's Whimsical Foiled Eyeshadow, I'm applying that with a really dense small shadow brush. And I'm focusing this glittery color all over the eyelids only and avoiding the crease area. Next, taking Makeup Geek's Americano eyeshadow, which is a really warm matte color. I'm taking that with a large dense pencil brush and applying it strictly to the center portion of the crease and then blending it along my crease line. And I want it to be focused on the center only so that I get a really high depth look going on. And I'm just making sure it's well blended so there's no gaps or chunky looking bits. Next, taking Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach, which is a later brown color, I'm just using that on a Sigma blending brush to blend out that color that I applied before and give a nice smooth transition between the colors and my eyebrows. Next, taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, I'm going to be using this on another dense shadow brush to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner. And with this highlighter, I like to drag it along the um, inner sides of my nose as well, just to create a brightening and widening effect of that area. Then taking a Maracano again on a eyeliner brush, I'm actually creating the dolly eye effect. So I'm lining where my eye has a crease on the lower portion and only doing it halfway to where my iris would be. Then at the outer portion, I'm ending it where my eyeliner should end. And then I'm going to be applying that color to the outer inner portion of that section I just created. Then with a small pencil brush, I'm applying Barcelona Beach again, but I'm using it to blend out that Americano color only to the center portion. I'm sure you guys can see what's going on. Then taking my Sailor Moon Liquid Eyeliner in Black, I'm just creating that eyeliner that I was talking about previously. 
So I'm just dragging that along where I outlined that outer portion of the lower part before and now I'm just creating the eyeliner that suits my eye shape best. So having the wing really really thick on the outer portion then get extremely thin towards the inner portion. And then while I'm doing this I'm also making sure that I'm filling in between my eyelashes as well as I go. Then taking Etude's House's Play 101 pencil in number 7, I'm using that to tight line my waterline. To brighten it up, curling my lashes, then going in with Heroin Makes Long and Curl Mascara in Steady Brown, which is a really long wear, really waterproof, really good <laughs> mascara that is perfect for this look. And then going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills' Brow Wiz in Taupe, I'm using this to create my favorite natural eyebrow shape that suits my eyebrows best. So you should do any shape that best matches your eyebrows, but for me it's more of a straight and thick eyebrow shape. So I'm focusing most of that color on the outer portion and then towards the inner portion at the bottom I'm creating hair strokes so it looks more natural and less drawn on and then squaring off the front and buffing it out with the spoolie end. Then I'm going to be taking my Etude House Color My Brows Concealing Color, which is a really nice ashy blonde color, and I'm using that to blend my eyebrow colors better with my hair color. So I'm just using that to give them more of a blonde look, but I'm not applying too much because as you can see, my hair isn't 100% blonde anymore as my roots are coming in. Ooh, okay, so that's done. Next, out of focus, here I have the Pony Effect Contouring Palette and I'm taking the lightest contouring shade and I am using that to contour the one side of my nose to match the other side of my nose because my nose isn't equally defined on both sides naturally. So defining that one side that is a little less defined, then adding a little bit of color to the opposite side so that it is more balanced. Then taking that same color on a small powder brush, I'm just applying it to the outer portion of my jawline and blending it so it gives more color to my face and dimension while also creating a very slight and mild slimming effect. In case anyone's wondering, this contour palette is extremely good for light skin tones if you want a natural looking contour. Highly recommend it. Then going in with my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone again, I'm just highlighting the high points of my face, so nose, chin, and of course the cheekbones. And I'm only applying a very small amount because I don't want it to be like strobing or anything hardcore like that. Then taking my Puff to Cheek in PK301, which is a really light peachy shade, I'm applying that to the upper portion of my cheeks around the eye area to create a natural flushed look. Then going in with my Etude House Dear Darling tint in number 6, which is the perfect neutral pink peachy color. I'm applying that to my lips to give a nice juicy tinted kind of gradient lip effect, but not quite. And after that, we're done. That's it. That is how you get this really romantic dolly effect for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Go, 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 go.